I should add like the drops right here. Yeah. Maybe just to fill in like this little space right yeah, yeah. here. Yeah, because I mean we could, you know, it's yeah. not a problem. And I mean like we could probably even do one over here. Yeah. You know, which is kind of cool. Yeah, let's feel that crap. Get out of his way. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title, this is my half sleeve tattoo tour. Um, I'm not going to show you the rest of my tattoos. I really just want to showcase my half sleeve since I just finished it yesterday. But yes, so um, it hasn't really been that long of a process because it is only a half sleeve and I work with an artist who works very quickly and I'm thankful and lucky enough to be able to finish it so quickly. So none of these tattoos really have any meaning per se. Um, I just really like the design and I really like my artist. All of his information will be down below. You have already seen my Raven. I did a whole video about him. And then you've probably seen this guy in a couple videos. But the rest of it I just finished within the last two weeks or so. And the last two pieces were done yesterday. So I got a, uh, like a couple clips from when I did the piece that's on the back of my arm that you haven't seen yet. So I don't know when I'll be putting those in. Maybe at the beginning or something like that. But um, yeah, we can just jump into it. So I'll start with uh, in order, I guess. So I got this Raven and I'll try to do insert individual clips. To the best of my ability, but I got this Raven as purple and blue. His tail feathers go down to my elbow. And he's a, fa he's a fairly large piece. He was a cover up. It was some awful script. If you've seen that video, you know what I'm talking about. But yes, he was a cover up. So all the rest of my half sleeve was focused around this piece right here because I had to have this piece. And then after I got him, I got this guy. So this was done in July. Oh, this was done in March of this year, and this was done in July. Um, the pain was about a 5 out of 10. It wasn't really that bad at all until we got to this part around my uh, armpit, especially with these leaves right here, and then right here by my elbow. So overall, he was like a 5 out of 10, nothing major. You can still kind of see right here in the red some of the old script but it's not really noticeable so I don't really mind or care at all. After him I got this piece right here. It's It was my first really really visible piece and I waited a little while not very long to get tattooed next. I just wanted to adjust to being more visibly tattooed. Um, he didn't really hurt at all. The outline only really hurt right here by my elbow. Um, but that's about it. He did use numbing spray when we did this after the outline. So when the outline was done, he sprayed me with numbing spray. Let that sit in for a couple minutes so the coloring, the shading didn't hurt at all. It just felt like pressure. Um, saving grace, by the way. If you've never been tattooed with numbing spray, highly recommend. But um, close to the uh, armpit, like I said, and by my elbow are really spicy areas, um, but beyond that, none of this really hurt. I would give this like a 3 out of 10. Um, I'm not going to list prices or I'm not going to say prices because, um, I don't know, I just feel like it's not relevant. I get all of my tattoos custom drawn, so I feel like the artist I work with, we have good repertoire, and we just... I don't know, we mesh well together, so I'd pay whatever he was asking, if that makes sense. So I'm not really going to name prices if you're interested. Um, you can contact my artist and ask what his rates are, but I'm not going to talk about it here because I just don't think it's relevant. So after this piece, um, I got this on the back of my arm. to fill this gap. Now I've always known I wanted a dagger piece on the back of my arm right here. It was just a part of uh, what kind of dagger. So I got this guy 
and we put these blood splatters all in here just to fill in these gaps right here um, because the blade does fit in well with these leaves but there were gaps so we just I asked him to put the blood right here and he just um, he just drew those on with marker and we put them in here and this guy didn't hurt at all like I almost <laughs> I hate when people say this, but I literally almost fell asleep when this happened. Um, the only parts that really, really hurt were right in here. Um, maybe this guy right here, but not really at the tip of the blade at all. This didn't hurt really at all. I was laying on my front like this just so he could get to it. This was like a 2 out of 10. This didn't hurt at all, but yeah. And then my last pieces are what I got yesterday. So I was talking to him and I really wanted to fill this gap, but I really decided I'm fine with that being there. But I did want something on my shoulder and I really wanted something at the bottom and in the ditch of my arm. So uh, like I said, my artist works very quickly. So this didn't really take that long. So I didn't need two sessions to finish this half sleeve. So I went ahead and I got these blueberries because, I don't know, I've always liked the look of blueberry tattoos. So, I messaged him my reference pictures, and this is, he, he free-handed these when I got there, um, and he free-handed part of my other one that I got yesterday, too. So he didn't have a stencil or, stencil or anything for this. He just, I sat there and he just drew on me. Um, the only part of this that really, really hurt was on my shoulder right here. Um, that was like a 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10. But the rest of it was like a 4 or 5 out of 10. But yes, I really, really like these. He decided to do some of the leaves like a more teal and some more yellow. And I really like how they're yellow because it helps it tie in with this dagger right here and um, my snake as well because he has yellow um, and then my last piece I got yesterday it's gonna be hard to show you was the spider guy and the spider web now <laughs> this is the worst pain I've ever felt with a tattoo in my life not to be dramatic, I do have a rib tattoo, it was my first tattoo, and I decided to do a rib tattoo for my first tattoo because I knew I wanted to be more heavily covered and I figured if I could handle a rib tattoo, I could handle being tattooed pretty heavily, if that makes sense. That was just my thought process, you don't necessarily have to do that to prove to yourself that you can be heavily tattooed because like I said, majority of these didn't really hurt that badly. Now tattoos do hurt, that's part of getting tattooed. My neighbors are having a party up there. But being in pain is just part of the tattoo process, but you are left with beautiful artwork on your body forever. But um, this guy, now I like to think of my tattoos as traditional slash neo-traditional, and that's why I went to my artist. What, what was I even talking about? So I like to think of my tattoos as traditional slash neo-traditional. Now, if you've seen spiderweb tattoos, you know they have a great amount of shading right in these areas. But let me tell you, <laughs> he asked, he did the outline of the, uh, of the web and he did connect it with the rest of my tattoos just to make it flow more easily and um, he did the outline of the spider and then he asked me before he colored in my spider right here if I wanted that shading and I do eventually want that shading but I told him at the time just let me see how I feel once this is colored in and he said okay so after that was colored in I Felt like I was about to pass out, honestly, and I've never had that while getting tattooed before. And I am pretty heavily tattooed. I have my whole thigh tattooed and my rib. So I was just like, um, I'll come back. Because <laughs> I do eventually want a full sleep, but I am going to stop for a while just at a half sleep. Because I feel like it looks pretty complete and I can walk around without it looking like a project piece. Because I've gotten all these tattoos within a year, so I do just want to get used to being a visibly heavily tattooed person. This may not be heavily tattooed to you. I don't have a chest piece, I don't have any neck tattoos, I don't have hand tattoos, but this is heavily tattooed for me and what I'm used to seeing in my everyday life. My boyfriend does have a full sleeve and another tattoo right here on his other arm. 
but none of my family is, is tattooed other than, you know, like a navy tattoo here and there. So I do just want to get used to being more visibly heavily tattooed before I do finish a full sleeve. So I told him I could come back whenever I do decide to do a start on my full sleeve and he he was fine with that because it looks complete. It's not like I'm walking around with just a blank outline. So I will eventually add that traditional shading. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll try to insert a picture for reference. Now, I am in love with this piece. I don't know if I showed you up close. I don't remember. But um, the spider was a stencil that he drew, but he just freehanded the spider web because we wanted it to fit in this little crevice right here and then he wanted it all to connect just to make them all flow together because I did want a patchwork traditional style sleeve so I don't necessarily need like a cohesive like stuff in every spot kind of sleeve that's the kind of sleeve that my boyfriend Trey has but I've always just appreciated patchwork traditional kind of sleeves so while I wanted to fill in gaps I didn't necessarily want to fill every single part if that makes sense so I'm perfectly fine with having these empty spaces but I did want these to flow together if that makes sense so take a breath this is day one after getting tattooed and I wanted to go ahead and film this video before it starts to get in its scabby stage but um this is not exactly what they're gonna look like when they're fully healed uh, tattoos do it just looks like they're sunken in your skin more so like this looks like instead of just sitting on top you know what I'm saying so I'm done getting tattooed for at least a year if I do want to get tattooed within that time span I know and I've known for a while that I wanted to get a portrait piece on my calf of my dog Allie because I we we've been together for five years come December and she's just been my best friend for that long <laughs> She came to live with me two years ago, and yeah, I would just want to carry her with me wherever I go. So I know that I want a portrait piece eventually of her, but I don't want to add on to my half sleep for a little while. Just get used to being visibly tattooed, like I said. But I am very happy with how it came out. Um, yeah, and I'm going to go ahead and shoot those up close shots, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching. You want to go?